In this video I will show you how to create and animate movie style titles by pasting text that has been written into a text editor and pasting it into Blender. Before creating your titles in Blender, you will need to write them into a text editor similar to this. Once you finish writing your text, save it in a folder where you can easily find it and make sure you save it as text. Start by pressing 7 on your numbers pad followed by 5. Then with the cubes still highlighted, type X on your keyboard then left click on delete. Look for the little black dot, this is your lamp and right click on it. Again press X on your keyboard and left click on delete. Holding down shift followed by A left click on text. Go into edit mode by pressing tab on your keyboard then backspace to remove the letters. Drag the right hand panel over and look for the text editor button. This is a little button with an F in it. And left click on it scroll down and in the font section left click on the box that's or left click in the box that says size and change it from 1 to point 0.1 then hit return on your keyboard scroll down again and in the paragraph section left click on center Look for the little box that says text at the bottom left hand of the screen and left click on it. Then left click paste file. Navigate to the folder where you have created your titles and left click on your titles. Then left click paste file. This can take a few minutes um, depending on the length of time or rather length of uh, text that you've got so you're just going to have to sit back and wait for a few minutes for it to load up into Blender. Okay. Hit tab on your keyboard again to go into object mode. Again this can take a few minutes. And once you're in object mode, hold down Alt followed by C and left click Mesh from Curve Meta Surf Text. Right click on the camera. This looks like a strange looking uh, triangle. And then press N on your keyboard. Scroll up and under location type 0 in X and 0 in Y. Leave the Z axis alone. Now under rotation type 0 in X, Y and Z.
press 0 on your numbers pad to go into camera view and zoom the uh, camera out a bit by rolling your middle mouse button next right click on the text and look for a little orange disc at the right of the uh, screen this is your materials edit button and left click on it left click on new then the diffuse left click on the white box slide the little dot next to the color palette all the way up then scroll down and in shading left click on emit and type 1 followed by return look for the little button that has a world on it and left click on it left click on in on the sorry left click in the box under horizon color and drag the little dot to the right of the palette all the way down so that the R, G and B say zero do the same on the zenith colour and the same on the ambient colour hold down shift followed by Z to see if this has worked then Z again and Z again to solid view Scroll this panel down until you can see the box next to lock camera to view and left click in the box. Now we need to find out if this text needs adjusting in size. To do this left click under location in the Y box and gradually scroll it to the right zoom out if you need to fit any of the text back inside the uh, camera view and carry on moving your Y axis over until you get to the end of your text and you're happy with uh, how it fits inside the camera view type 0 again in the Y axis to bring yourself back to the beginning and then hit return drag your script up a bit if you need to by clicking on the left clicking on the green arrow or conversely if you need to bring it down Now making sure the start number at the very bottom of the screen is 1 type I on your keyboard and then left click ne next to location the text I created has got something like 500 lines so I'm going to change the end 
uh, frame number to say something like three frames per line it's only a guess sometimes you have to muck around with these things to find out really how long you want it to run but I'm going to put 1500 in here I hit return so I got start 1 end 1500 um, I want the um, text to stop for a while so next to the right of the end frame where at present it says 1 left click sorry right click and left click sorry and enter 50 no sorry I'm talking rubbish here enter 1450 then hit return and then again in the y axis drag it over so that the end of the text is oops, move too far looking something like this and again hit I on your keyboard and left click location to the bottom of the screen left click on jump to first last frame in frame range and then left click play animation to see if it's working correctly Okay, it seems to be working okay. Finally, we need to animate this. So look for the little button with a camera in it. This is your render button and left click on it. I'm going to keep the resolution the same as it is, which is a 1920 by 1080. Scroll down and in the output file or folder next to TMP left click the little folder box and navigate to a folder where you want to leave your video or whatever you want your video to process into give your title your video title a title I'm going to call it title <laughs> and then left click on accept scroll on down again and left click in the box that says PNG and select a movie format um, they all work quite well again as before I'm going to use H.2 six four it's set up ready to go so all you have to do now in the render box the middle button where it says animation left click now this could take quite some time to uh render especially if your computer is slow or you've got a lot of text so I'm not going to sit here watching this I'm going to make a coffee and I'll come back to this when uh, it's finished that's the rendering finished um, all we need to do now is uh, close render down go to your file where you loaded your video to and play it thanks for watching cheers